Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel Daisy DIY. Today I'm sharing with you guys an easy home decor. I hope you enjoy. If you do, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Thank you so much. For the first project, I'm going to be using this wood tag that I got from Dollar Tree. So here's the item number if you guys need it. So the first thing, I'm going to remove the image from the top and also the hanger. And this is how it looks once you remove the image. Also, I want to say if you guys don't want to remove the image, you guys can use the back of the wood sign and you guys are going to be fine with it. But I decide to remove the image so it can has a finished look. And to paint it, I'm using the Ristolan chalkboard paint on color white. First, I'm going to do a light coat because I want the wood to show a little bit through. You guys know that I love this technique to distress my signs. So that's the reason why I always do this step to use a little bit of paint. And once I'm done with the first coat, I go over and paint a little bit the spots that it needs more white. And that's the distress look that I always look for. So once I was done, I decided to create lines. I didn't measure anything. I just kind of eyeball it i just want to use my pencil to trace it a few times and once i was done i'm going to be using my fingers to distress the lines The next thing we're going to be using two painter sticks that I got from Amazon. I'm just going to place them this way. So once I place it, I'm going to be using my pencil to mark it at the side that we need it. So I decide to flip my sign and put the painter sticks on the bottom. It was more easy to trace it so we can cut it. And to cut it, I'm just going to use my saw to cut it. And to paint it, I'm using the Waverly Chalk Paint on color anti-wax. And I'm going to do one coat and I'm just going to let it dry. And to paint it, I'm using just a small piece of bat sponge that I got from Dollar Tree. Also, I'm going to be using this small tag that I got from Dollar General. It's really beautiful and only it cost me $1. So I'm going to place it right here in the middle of the sign. And I'm just going to be putting the hanger inside. And I'm just going to give this effect so that a small tag is hanging from the wood sign. And I'm just going to place that two painter sticks this way. And to glue it, I'm going to do a combination of wood glue and hot glue for a strong hold. I'm going to do the same step on the bottom. I'm going to be using a little bit of wood glue with hot glue to glue it. Also, I decided to glue that small tag so it can hold pretty well on the sign. And I'm just using a little bit of hot glue. If you guys want for a strong hold, you guys can use wood glue. I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue to glue the piece of jute twine on the back so it can hold pretty well the hanger on the back so we can hang our sign. And to distress the sign, I'm going to be using a little bit of that Wibbly Chalk Paint on color anti-wax. And I'm just going to do the edges of the sign. And to distress it, I'm just using a small piece of bat sponge. And I'm just going to distress it at the way that I want it. The next thing, I'm going to be using this box wood picks that I got from Walmart. So what I did, I just grabbed a few pieces and I just tie it very well with that zip tie. And I just cut the remaining piece with my scissors. And you guys can put it right here in the top or in the bottom. I just like to put it right here in the bottom. And I'm just going to be using a little bit of hot glue to glue it. The other thing that I decide to do to use a few pieces of the lace ribbon, burlap ribbon and a piece of jute twine and I just create this beautiful bow. So once I was done, you guys can put it right here on the top of that small tag and it looks really beautiful. But I decide to put it right here in the middle and I'm just going to be using a little bit of hot glue to glue it.
And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about this project? I think it turned out really beautiful. I love it how it turns out. But please let me know what do you guys think. For the next project, I'm going to be using this beautiful wood holder that I had on hand. I had it for a really long time, so I decided to do something different so I can use it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove first this image. So once I remove that image, I'm going to be using this Bristolian chalkboard paint and I'm just going to do one coat and I'm just going to let it dry. So first, I was just painting all outside of the wood holder. But once I was done, I decided to paint inside so it can have a finished look. And here is the part where I show you that I decide to paint inside because I didn't like it how it looks. So once it's completely dried, I'm going to be using this image of the calendar that I found on Dollar Tree. So first, I just place my image on the top so we can trace it at the side that I need it. So once I was done, I just use my scissors to cut it. The next thing, I'm going to be using this Mod Podge and I'm just going to do one coat and to put the Mod Podge, I'm just using this small brush that I got from Dollar Tree. And once I was done placing that Mod Podge, I'm just going to put my image on the top. The other thing that I decided to do another coat on Mod Podge so we can seal the image. I decided to distress that image a little bit and for that I'm using the Ristolan chalkboard paint on color white so you guys can see I'm just using a little bit of paint to distress it. You guys can distress it at the way that you guys want it. So once I was done I decided to distress also the edges so it can look way better and I'm just using this sandpaper that I got from Dollar Tree. And to put inside, you guys can put anything and it will look really beautiful. I'm going to be using just a few pieces of the greenery and also these beautiful flowers that I had on hand. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this beautiful wood holder. I think it turned out really beautiful. Please let me know what do you guys think. I'm going to be using one wood tray that I got from Dollar Tree. And to paint it, I used the Waverly Chuck Paint on color anti-wax. And I just did one coat and I just let it dry. Also, I'm going to be using these jewelry border stickers that I got from Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just going to be using a little bit of hot glue to glue it. I'm just going to glue it on the end of the wood tray. So once I just glue the remain piece, I just use my scissors to cut it. And I just use a little bit of hot glue to hold the remain piece. I did the same step on the bottom and to paint it I'm using the Ristolan chalkboard paint on color white and I just did one coat and I just let it dry so you guys can see I'm just using a little bit of paint so we can give this distressed look that we're looking for.
The next thing that I did, I used the Wibbly Chalk Paint and Color Anti-Wax to distress it a little bit more. And I'm just going to distress the edges and also the border that we just put the stickers. So I just distress it the way that I want it. I'm going to use this wall sticker that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using only the word the house. So my sticker, it was a little bit bigger and to fix that, I'm going to use my scissors to cut it so it can fit very well on my wood tray. And once I was done, I'm going to be using this Mod Patch to put it so we can seal it very well, the sticker. So I just did one coat and I just placed my sticker. And once I was done, I decided to do another coat of Mod Patch on the top to seal the sticker so it can hold pretty well. So you guys can see, I just used a small piece of the adhesive cord sheet to cover the stars on the side. You guys can put it on the two sides. I just did one side and I forgot to do the other side so I can have a finished look. The next thing, we're going to need one truck that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to remove that piece of the letters and also the image. The other thing that I decided to do to cut the part on the top of the wood truck because it was at this place from Easter and it had these beautiful eggs on the top and I didn't like it. To paint it, I'm using the Restoring Chuck Paint and I did one coat and I just let it dry and also I decided to paint the edges so it has a finished look and once we're done we're going to create lines I didn't measure anything so I just marked my lines twice and once I was done with my finger I just dressed the lines a little bit I'm going to use one free printable that I found on Pinterest. I'm going to be using my scissors just to cut the flower in a few letters. And once I was done placing the pieces that I want on the truck, I'm going to be using this Mod Patch to put our image. And I did one coat and I just placed my image. The other thing that I decided to do, another cut on Mod Patch so we can seal everything. The next thing, we're going to create the tires of the truck. So I'm just going from this jar that I have on hand. You guys can use any circle thing. If you guys are really good at drawing, you guys don't need any template to create it. So to paint the tires, I'm using the Crackwise chalkboard paint. And I'm also using this small brush. And I just did one coat and I just let it dry. Also, I decided to paint the edges of the truck. The other thing that I decided to do, I just used my hot glue to cover the holes that it had in the tires because I didn't like it. I just used a little bit of hot glue and once I was done, I just used the same paint to cover the hole. And to distress a piece, I'm just using the Restolent Chuck paint and I just used a little bit of paint to distress it. And I'm using the same brush. If you guys want, you guys can be done with your project here. You guys can just use a small piece of jute twine and just put it on the back with hot glue. Or if you guys want this beautiful piece to stand up, you guys can use a few pieces of the jingle blocks and you can place it this way and use a little bit of hot glue so it can stand up your piece. You can do many things with this beautiful truck, but I decide to do this step. I used one piece of wood that I had on hand. It was already cut. So to paint it, I'm using the Restolent Chuck paint. I did one coat and I just let it dry. And also I'm using 
this piece of the image that we just had and I just used a little bit of Mod Podge to put the image. I did one coat and once I was done, I did another coat on the top. The next thing, I used two pieces of Jingle Blocks and I'm using the same paint to paint it. I did one coat and I just let it dry. And also, I distressed the letters a little bit with the same paint. And once it was done, I just created these lines, but in the end, I didn't like it. So I'm gonna show you in a minute what I did. I just placed the two Jingle Blocks this way so we can place the truck on the top so it can stand up. And to glue it, I'm gonna do a combination of Wood gluing hot glue for a stone hole. I decide to use a little bit of more hot glue to reinforce it and also I paint the back so it can has a finished look. So here is the part where I show you. I use this stencil and I just place it this way and I just use the craft wise chalkboard paint and I did one coat and I just let it dry. And once it was dry to distress it a little bit, I just use the same brush with the same paint, restoring chalk paint and I just use a little bit of paint to distress it. And I just place a few greeneries right here in the top to display this beautiful truck. I'm gonna be using this base that I had on hand and I had it for a really long time so I decided to do something different with this base because I really love it how it looks and all the texture that they have this base so the first thing I'm gonna be using the Ristolan chalkboard paint on color white that I got from Amazon so you guys can see I'm not painting it all the way because I want the color that has on the bottom to show a little bit through first I did one coat and once it was completely dry I did a second coat and the brush that I'm using to paint it, it's from Dollar Tree. It's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be, in the great outdoors, forever free. And this is how it looks once it's completely dry the first coat and it's when I decide to do the second coat. And once it was completely dry, I decided to use this sandpaper that I got from Dollar Tree to distress it a little bit, especially the edges of the base. I'm going to use a few pieces of this greenery to put it inside. You guys can put anything and it will look really beautiful. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this project. For the next project, I'm going to be using this beautiful piece of wood that I had on hand. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this staple that I had in one of the sides. I hope you guys can see it. And also, I'm going to be using a piece of sandpaper to sand it very well, especially the edges of the piece of wood. And 
And to paint it, I'm using the Ristolan chalkboard paint on color white and I'm going to do one coat. And to paint it, I'm just using this brush that I got from Dollar Tree. Also, I decided to paint the back of the piece of wood so it can have a finished look. And to distress a piece of wood, I'm using the Deco Art Bright Metallic Paint that I had on hand. So you guys can see, I'm just using a little bit of paint. And also, I'm just distressing the edges of the piece of wood. So once I was done, I'm going to be using this extra piece of paper that we just had from the other project that we just create. I just mark it very well so we can place it this way. And to put our image, I'm just using a little bit of Mod Podge. I'm just going to do one coat and I'm just going to place our image. And once I was done, I decided to do another coat of Mod Podge on the top so we can seal our image. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time so once it's completely dry, I'm going to be using that Ristolan chalkboard paint on color white to distress it a little bit. So you guys can see, I'm just using a little bit of paint to distress it. I'm going to use this Robom transfer sticker that I found on Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be using that word family. And I'm just going to be placing it this way. So I'm just going to be scratching it with my finger. And once I was done, I just removed that extra piece of plastic. And also, I just like to use a little bit of mud patch to seal our letters and I just did one coat and I just let it dry The next thing, I'm going to be using this jute twine that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be wrapping it a few times around. And once I was done, I just used my scissors to cut it and with the remaining piece, I just tie it on the back, everything very well. I decide not to use hot glue just in case if I want to change the piece of jute twine. But if you guys want, you guys can use a little bit of hot glue to glue it. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. I'm going to be using these beautiful flowers to put it right here on the top. You guys can put anything and it will look really beautiful. What do you guys think about this project? And here's the second option that I have for you guys today. If you guys want to put something different in the top. I'm going to use this wood tray that I had on hand. I had on my channel this video that I show you step by step what I did. I will link it down for you guys in my description box below so you guys can see it. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be using the Ristolan chalkboard paint on color white to cover all these black parts on the top. And I'm just going to do one coat and once it's completely dry, I'm going to do a second coat. Also, I'm going to be using this Waverly Chuck paint on color mineral to cover the legs from the tray. I didn't like it the color black, so I decided to paint it. So I did first one coat and once it was completely dry, I did a second coat.
The next thing, I'm going to be using this stencil that I got from Dollar General. So I'm going to be using this border to put it right here on the trade. So to hold the stencil, I just use a small piece of painter's tape. And also to paint it, I'm using the Waverly Chuck Paint on color Mineral. And I just did first one coat. And once it was dry, I did a second coat. And to paint it, I'm just using this small brush that I got from Dollar Tree. So once I was done, I did the same step on the other side of the wood tray because it was a small piece and I just wanted a long board. So I did the same step. Also, on the other side of the wood tray, I decided to put a different board because I want to give you guys a different option if you guys don't like the option that I give you first, maybe the second option. I think you guys are going to like it better. So, I'm using the Waverly Chuck Paint on color Mineral and I'm just going to do the same thing. First, I'm going to do one coat and I'm just going to let it dry a little bit and I'm going to do a second coat and and I'm just going to remove the stencil and I'm going to put it on the other side so we can make a bigger board. The next thing, I'm going to be using this placemat that I had from Dollar Tree and I had it for a really long time. So what I did, I just cut a small piece to put it inside of the tray. I just cut it at the side that I need it. So if you guys want, you guys can just leave it at the way it is or you guys can use a little bit of hot glue to glue it. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. I just want to show you how it looks from this side and how it looks from the other side. I'm going to use this wood round sign that I found on Dollar Tree and here's the item number just in case if you guys need it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove that image from the sign. I want to show you for my friend Candy and Marcy that they had a question. They asked me how to remove that image. They said that sometimes it's pretty hard and I just want to show you a great example. This image from this sign, it was a little bit hard to remove. So I just just use this small packet knife that I had on hand. It does take me a little bit of time. I'm not going to lie. In the end, I love it how it turns out because it gives really good finish on my signs. I just see a few friends that they use like just a piece of paper on the back. They just covered the image or some other people they decide just to paint on the top of the image. You guys can have many options but I just want to show you that part especially for my friend Candy and Marcy. And I hope you guys enjoyed that part. And to paint it, I'm using the Restylane Chalkboard Paint on color white. I'm going to do first one coat and I'm just going to let it dry. So you guys can see, I'm just using a little bit of paint. So once I was done, I'm just going to start creating lines. And for that, I'm just using my pencil and my ruler. And I'm just going to trace the lines twice so they can be a little bit dark. And once I'm done marking the lines, I'm going to be using my finger to distress the lines
Also, I'm going to be using this beautiful wall sticker that I found on Dollar Tree so you guys can see my sticker. It's a little bit bigger. So I'm going to be using my scissors to cut it. So once I was done, I'm going to place my sticker this way. So the other thing that I decide to do, I use a little bit of my patch so we can seal very well our sticker. So I just did one cut on my patch and I just placed my sticker. So I decided to do another cut on my patch on the top so we can seal everything. So once it's completely dry, I decided to distress it a little bit. And for that, I'm using the Restolent Chopper Paint on color white. And I'm just using a little bit of paint to distress it. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. The other thing that I decide to do, I just use a small piece of your twine and I just tie it very well on the top. You guys can use the same piece of your twine that I had on the wood sign, but I decide to use this piece. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this project. I'm going to use this wood box that I had on hand. I have that video on my YouTube channel, what I did step by step. I will link it down in my description box below so you guys can see what I did. The only thing that I removed was the handle. So the other thing that I'm going to be using this jewelry border stickers that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be placing it right here in the middle. So what I did, I just used a little bit of hot glue so it can hold pretty well. If you guys want to, you guys don't need to do this step. I know that adhesive that they have, it holds pretty well, but I decided to use just a little bit of hot glue. And I'm just going to be putting the sticker all around. And once I was done with the remaining piece, I just used my scissors to cut it. And I just used a little bit of hot glue to hold it, the remaining piece. And to paint it, I'm going to be using the Restore Chalkboard Paint on color white. And to paint it, I'm using this brush that I got from Dollar Tree. So you guys can see, I'm just using a little bit of paint first to paint it. And I just did one coat and I just let it dry. And also, I decided to paint the bottom part so it can have a finished look. I'm going to use the Wibbly Chalk Paint on color anti wax to distress it a little bit. And I'm just using a small piece of this bad sponge. And I'm just going to be distressing the borders first. And once I was done, I just distressed the edges of the wood box and also the bottom part. And once it was completely dry, I decided to use the Restoring Chalkboard Paint on color white to distress it a little bit more so it can blend everything together. So you guys can see, I'm just using a little bit of paint to distress it. And to put inside, I'm going to be using this box wood picks that I got from Walmart. You guys can put anything and it will look really beautiful. Or if you guys want, you guys can put a succulent and it will look really beautiful too. I have that other option for you guys so you guys can see. And please let me know what option do you like more.
and this is how it looks our project once we're done i think this planter it turned out really beautiful i just love everything but please let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this project And here is the second option if you guys decide to put a succulent inside. What do you guys think about our second option? I'm going to use this wood tag that I found on Dollar Tree and here's the item number just in case if you guys need it. So the first thing, I'm going to remove that image from the top and also this piece of wood that it has right here. If you guys want, you guys can use the back for this project but I decided to remove that image and the, the piece of wood so it can has a finished look and this is how it looks once to remove the image. And to paint it, I'm using the Restaurant Chalkboard Paint on color white that I got from Amazon. So you guys can see I'm just using a little bit of paint first to cover the sign I'm not covering it all the way because I want the wood to show a little bit So I just did one coat and I just let it dry So the next thing I'm going to create lines So my wood sign and measure 23 inches So every 4 inches I just mark the lines So once I was done I connect all the lines And with my pencil I just trace the lines twice so we can have these dark lines that we're looking for so once i was done i just used my finger to distress all the lines The next thing, I'm going to be using this free printable that I found on Google. I just searched for a wreath and I found this beautiful wreath. Or if you guys don't want to print one, you guys can create with a greenery a beautiful wreath. It's really easy to create it and you guys can use a little bit of hot glue to glue it. So once I just cut the brief, this is how it looks. So the next thing, I'm going to be using this Mod Podge and I'm just going to do one coat and I'm just going to place my image. So you guys can see, I'm just using this small brush that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to place it. And once I was done placing my image, I decided to do another coat on Mod Podge on the top. I'm going to use these stencils that I got from Dollar General. They're really beautiful and I'm going to be using the word bless. So to hold the stencil, I'm just using a small piece of painter's tape and to paint it, I'm going to be using these sponge tabards that I got from Dollar Tree and also I'm using the Craft West Chalkboard Paint on Color Ink and I'm just going to use a little bit of paint to paint it. I just did one coat and I just let it dry. And now we're just going to remove this stencil so you guys can see it looks really beautiful but I just like to use this sandpaper to distress it a little bit and to hang our wall decor I'm just going to use a piece of jute twine that I had on hand you guys can put the same piece of jute twine that it came with the sign but I decided to use this one I just tie it very well on the top. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this project. I think it turned out really beautiful but please let me know what do you guys think. I'm going to be using one high clutch dome that I found on Dollar Tree. It was the first time that I see them and I think they're really beautiful. I'm going to be using this jewelry border sticker that I found on Dollar Tree as well. So I'm just going to place it all around of the base. So you guys can see I just used one piece and it was a little bit smaller. So I just grabbed another piece and I just connected. So with the extra border sticker I just used my scissors to cut it also on the end i just use a little bit of hot glue to glue the remain piece and to paint it i'm using the restylent chalkboard paint on color white so first i did a coat to cover everything very well and once it's completely dry i'm gonna do a second coat so to paint it i'm just using this brush that i got from dollar tree
So once it was completely dry, I'm going to be using the Deco Art Bright Metallic Paint that I had on hand. So I'm just using a little bit of paint to distress it a little bit. So you guys can see, I'm going to distress it at the way that I want it. And once it was done, I decided to use this beautiful flower that I had on hand to place it in the middle. You guys can put anything and it will look really beautiful. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this project. I think it turned out really beautiful, but please let me know what do you guys think. We're going to need one sign from the Dollar Tree and here's the item number just in case if you guys need it. So the first thing, I was going to remove that image but I want to show you something different just in case if you guys have really hard time to remove that image. I'm going to be using the Restylane Chuck Paint on colored white. I did one coat and I just let it dry. I always love to do this technique to distress my sign. I just use a little bit of paint. The next thing, I'm going to be using the craft wise chalkboard paint and I'm going to do one coat and I'm just going to let it dry. Also, I decided to paint the edges so it has a finished look. So I just want to show you how beautiful it turns out even if you cannot remove the image. So the next thing, we're going to create lines and we're just going to guide from the lines that it has the sign. I just marked my lines twice so they can be a little bit dark and I just tried to use my finger to distress the lines a little bit so once i'm done i'm gonna be using the same brush to distress the sign a little bit so my brush it just has a little bit of paint you always can distress the sign at the way that you guys want it so the next thing i'm gonna be using these words that i found on google and with my pencil i'm gonna be tracing on the back so we can use it as a template to create these beautiful letters in our sign so i just use my pen to mark the letters i don't know if you can see but it just shows the letters a little bit. So once I'm done, I decide to use that chalkboard paint. But if you guys don't have the paint, you guys can use a chart paint and it will work just fine. So I just use this small brush to paint my letters. It did take me a little bit of time, but in the end, it turned out really beautiful. I'm going to be using one crab stick that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm using the large one and I just cut three pieces and I measured three and a half centimeters so to paint it i'm using the chalkboard paint and i just did one coat i don't know what happened with my image but i just covered a little bit of the edges with a small piece of painter's tape because i want to create this small tag so the next thing i'm going to be using these stickers and i'm just going to be using the numbers one two and three and to paint it i'm using the restolian chalk paint on color white and I did one coat and I just let it dry. The next thing I'm going to be using three small seed pots that I got from Dollar Tree as well and to paint it I'm using the Restolent chalk paint and I did one coat and I just let it dry. I didn't paint it all the way because I want the color to show a little bit. So once I was done my small tag I didn't like it the color that it has on the edges so to fix that I'm using the Wibbly Anti-Wax and I just did one coat and I just used a piece of paper towel to remove a little bit of the paint. I think it was the, the paint that it was missing these beautiful tags. And once I'm done, I'm just going to let it dry. The next thing, I'm going to be using this mud patch to put the numbers. And I just did one coat and I just placed them. And once I was done, I decided to do another coat on mud patch to seal everything. So once that letter, they're completely dry, I decided to use a small piece of this 
this sandpaper to distress it a little bit. The next thing, I'm using three thumbtacks to put them on the small pots so we can just place it on the side. If you guys want, you guys can just use hot glue and glue it, but I decided to use this thumbtack. It was really easy to put them in the side. I just placed it this way. So you guys can see in the back, it shows a little bit the sharpie part on the thumbtacks. And I just used a little bit of hot glue and also to reinforce it a little bit better. So once I was done, I decided to place the three beautiful tags and I just used a little bit of hot glue to glue it. If you guys want a strong hold, you guys can use it 6000. And to hang our sign, we can use the same piece of jute twine and you guys can just place it and I think it looks beautiful. But I just like to use this plant hanger that I got from Dollar Tree and I just cut a small piece to put it and I just use my pliers to tie it very well this part. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. And to put inside, you guys can put anything. I just used a few pieces of the greenery that I have on hand. And I think it turned out really beautiful, this project. I love it. For the next project, I'm going to be using this wood table decor that I got from Dollar Tree. It was the first time that I see them and I think they're really beautiful. So the first thing, I'm going to remove the image from the top and this is how it looks once you remove the image. So when I remove the image, it left this part white on the top of the wood sign. I decided to remove a little bit and for that, I'm just going to be using this sandpaper that I got from Dollar Tree. I want to remove it a little bit because I'm I want to do this distressed look on the edges. The next thing, I'm going to be creating lines and for that I'm just going to be using my pencil. I didn't measure anything, I just kind of eyeball it and I just mark it like two times with my pencil because I want the lines to be a little bit dark and once I was done with my fingers, I just distressed all the lines. I'm going to use a piece of black paper that I had on hand. If you guys don't have it, you guys can paint it and you guys are going to be good to go. So a measure six inches long and four and a half inches wide, just in case if you guys need the measurement. Also, I'm going to be using this adhesive cord sheet that I got from Dollar Tree and I just cut a small piece and it measure five inches long and four inches wide, just in case if you guys need the measurements. The next thing, I'm going to be using this love metal work that I got from Dollar Tree. It's from Valentine's and I had it on hand. So what I did, I used the Craftwise chalkboard paint on color ink to paint it. I did one coat and I just let it dry. And once it was done, I just used one coat on my patch to seal it so it won't come off the paint really easy. And I just let it dry. And the next thing we're doing, I'm going to be using this Mod Patch to put the piece of, of paper on the top of the sign. If you guys don't want to use that Mod Patch, you guys can use a little bit of hot glue. But I decided to use a little bit of Mod Patch to put in. I just did one coat and I just put my piece of paper on the top and I just let it dry. And I just placed the piece of court sheet on the top. If you guys want, you guys can put it right here in the middle or you guys can put it the way that I just placed it. So I'm just going to remove the paper from the back and I'm just going to place it this way. If you guys want for a strong hold, you guys can use hot glue to glue it. But the adhesive that they have is pretty good so I didn't use anything. So the love word, you guys can place it in the middle or this way. Okay. 
any way it will look really beautiful i decided to just place it this way and i'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue to glue it if you guys want a strong hole you guys can use e6000 and this is how it looks once you're done i think it turned out really beautiful but i decided to put a few pieces of this greenery and i just tie it very well with a small piece of zip tie and i just cut with my scissors the remaining piece you guys can put it right here in the bottom or right here in the top or you guys can put it on the other side too and it will look really beautiful so i'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue to glue it Also, I decided to put another pieces of the greenery because it was missing a little bit more. And also, I create a small bulb to put it right here in the middle and I just use a little bit of hot glue to glue it. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about this project? I think it turned out really beautiful, but please let me know what do you guys think. I'm going to be using this beautiful glass jar that I found on Dollar Tree. I just love all the detail that they have in this glass. So that's the reason why that I grabbed this beautiful jar. So to paint it, I'm using the Restylane chalkboard paint on color white. I'm going to do first one coat and once it's completely dry, I'm going to do a second coat. And to paint it, I'm just using this brush that I got from Dollar Tree. And this is how it looks once you do the second coat of paint. So the next thing, I'm going to be using that Deco Art metallic paint. So I'm just using a little bit of paint to distress just the edges so you guys can see. Also, I decided to distress the bottom part and the top part so it can cast a finished look everything together. So here is the part where I'm going to show you. You just grab a little bit of paint and the brush and you're just going to grab your jar and you're just going to start putting all the paint. Don't be afraid because you won't be painting inside. You're just going to be painting just the borders. In the beginning, I was so afraid. I was like, I want my lines to be really good, but it doesn't matter because once you finish painting it, look how beautiful it turns out. It gives a lot of texture to the jar. I just love it how it turns out and i'm going to be using also this bottom part from the other project that we create i want to show you how it looks once you put the lid of the jar and put the jar on the top look how beautiful it turns out please let me know what you guys think or if you guys want you guys can just use the jar and put inside like flowers greenery anything you guys can put and it will look beautiful too And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about this project? For the next project, we're going to be using one tag that I got from Dollar Tree. And I just removed that image. I'm using this calendar that I got from Dollar Tree as well. I just want to give you another option in case if you guys don't have any pre-printables on hand. So I'm just going to use this image and I'm just going to be marking the image at the side of that line. Also, once I was done, I decided to cut this piece from the top. I didn't want the hole that it had on the top to show 
on my image so the next thing i'm going to be using this mud patch i just did one coat and once i was done i just placed my image the remain piece of the calendar i decided to use it on the top but if you guys want you guys can just paint this part on color white the other thing that i'm going to do i'm going to do another coat on my patch on the top so we can seal everything So once it's completely dry, I'm going to be using the Restoling Chalk Paint and I just paint the remain piece so it can blend everything with my image. So I decide to distress the image and I just distress it at the way that I want it. So to hang our piece of wall decor, I just decide to use a small piece of jute twine and I just tie it very well on the top. And also when I clean my edges of the sign because sometimes the piece of paper is it's a little bit bigger i use a piece of some paper and it gives this clean edges that it looks really beautiful And this is how it looks our project once we're done it turned out really beautiful this tag i love it but please let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this project For the next project, I'm going to be reusing this beautiful cutting board that I create on my channel and I will link it down below in my description box the video so you guys can see step by step what I did. The only thing that I removed it was the love letter that it had on the top. The next thing, I'm going to be using the Rustoleum chuck paint and I did one coat and I just let it dry so you guys can see I just use a little bit of paint because I want the color of the wood crate to show a little bit and the end I paint inside of the wood crate because I didn't like it how it looks so once they're completely dry I use the sandpaper to distress it a little bit more And here is the part where I show you that I decide to paint inside of the small wood crate. Also, I decide to use this Waverly Anti-Wax to distress it a little bit on the edges. I think it was missing something. So I'm just using a small piece of this bad sponge and I just distress it at the way that I want it. And this is how it looks our project once we're done and to put inside you guys can put anything you guys can use these box wood picks that i got from walmart i just want to show you if you cut a few pieces and put it inside i think it looks really beautiful or if you want to you guys can put a small pot inside like this one that i'm just have on hand and i just place it inside what do you guys think about this second option And this is how it looks our project once we're done let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this project it looks really beautiful but please let me know what do you guys think I'm going to use this sign that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to remove the image from the top and also the hanger. So this is how it looks once you remove that image. So if you guys don't want to remove that image, you guys can just use the back of that sign. So to paint it, I'm using the Restolan Chopper paint on color white and I'm going to do one coat and I'm just going to let it dry. So you guys can see, I'm just using a little bit of paint to distress it. Also, I decided to paint the edges of the sign so 
again has a finished look so once it was done i'm going to be creating lines and i'm just going to guide from these lines that it has the sign and i'm just going to mark it a few times so they can be a little bit dark the lines and with my finger i'm going to distress the lines i'm going to use this free printable that I found on Pinterest. I really love it. So I'm just going to cut a few pieces of the white paper so we can just place that image. Also, I'm going to be using this mud patch to put our image and I just did one coat. The other thing that I decided to do, I did another coat on mud patch on the top so we can seal the image. If you guys want, you guys can use a piece of foam board and cut it at the side of the image and to stand up the image you guys can use a few pieces of the jingle blocks but I decided to put them in a piece of wood because I want to hang it on my wall So once it's completely dry, I'm going to be using that craft wash chalkboard paint on color ink and I'm just going to be distressing the edges of the sign and I'm just using this small brush that I got from Dollar Tree. Also, I decided to create this small lines inside of the sign so it can have this distressed look that we're looking for. So to hang our sign, you guys can use the same piece of jute twine, but I decided to use this plant hanger that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cut a small piece to put it and I'm just going to be placing it. And once I was done, to tie it very well on the back, I'm going to be using my pliers. I'm going to use this box with picks that I got from Walmart and I just grab a few pieces and I just tie it very well with a zip tie and with the remaining piece I just use my scissors to cut it so you guys can put it on the top or in the bottom I just like to put it right here in the bottom and I just use a little bit of hot glue to glue it also I just like to create a small bow to put it and I just use the lace ribbon and the burlap ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree and I just just grab a small piece of jute twine to tie everything together and to glue it I'm just going to be using a little bit of hot glue also I decided to create this small bow in the middle and I just used a little bit of hot glue to glue it and the end I removed the bow because I didn't like it but I looked right now in the video and it looks really beautiful what do you guys think I should put it back the bow and this is how it looks our project once we're done let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this project project so that was up for today's video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified every time that i look new video and please don't forget to follow me on instagram and facebook thank you so much and have an amazing day